Hey, John from Mighty here, and in this updated video, I'm gonna show you the new way to capture anchor links within your Rise course. So we had this post in our Maestro community that walked through exactly how to add anchor links in your course using the Mighty Chrome extension, and we even had a nice fun video, but that video no longer works because it utilized our old uh, rich text editor, which had more support for this type of functionality. So I've got a new updated script here that we should be able to follow. And it actually is almost easier now to set up anchor links with the new rich text editor and the process that I'm about to walk through. So first is let's just jump right into our course as an example. And in this example course that I walked through in my previous video, we've just got a section right up top here in my course where I really just wanna jump you down to the different parts of our course in this lesson that you may want your learner to just like jump back and forth to. So we've got section one here, and then at the bottom of section one, there's like this back to top section. So we could certainly go through all those steps to set this up. And again, just an updated video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the new way to do this. So let's go back into the Maestro community and we're going to grab this JavaScript right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this into our custom code power-up. So we're gonna go over into the power-ups menu, go into custom code, add in this JavaScript, which is our new updated JavaScript. We're just gonna hit save, and then we're gonna go back to the sections in which we want the rich text updates and this is going to be where we add in all of our anchor links to jump back and forth. So step number one is you're going to highlight the section that you want to be clickable for your learner and what we're going to do is we are going to open up this link mode and what we're going to do is we're going to create a hyperlink and this I'm just going to call this anchor slash and we're going to say section one. And that's all we have to do there. We can hit done. If you ever look at the code view, the way that the code view will look is that on just this A tag or this link element, we see this href for hashtag anchor slash section one. And then what we need to do is we need to set up a section in our course down below, which will actually link us to section one. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to create a uh, class on this first element. So we're gonna reveal the code editor mode and we're gonna go right here. You could either go onto this top level element or honestly, you could go into any element inside of here. And all we're gonna do is we're going to create a class attribute. And for this class, we're gonna say that this is the anchor dash section one. And so what that'll do is it will link up the anchor link up at the top to scroll you down to this section one class that we've got inside of this paragraph element. So let's go ahead and close this and we're gonna test this out. So we're gonna jump over to preview mode. We will let this lesson load. And then as soon as we click section one, you'll see it automatically sends us down to that clarifying ambiguity section one. So that's really all that you need to do is update kind of based on our previous video, watching this video, go through and set up each of your anchor links by highlighting that section, like I had mentioned, setting up your link to go to hash anchor, oh, let me move that out of the way, anchor slash section two, or call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to make sure that this part here matches when we go down below, whatever the next section is that we want. So we can highlight this, reveal the code view, and then just add in that class of anchor dash section two. So that's how you would set up the different anchor points that you wanna scroll back and forth to. So super quick and easy update. Thanks.